Chapter 177 The main body of the divine tree is still in deep sleep. Its large canopy now covers an area of thousands of square meters. A gentle wind blows. The peaceful rustling sound from the leaves falls here. Perhaps this is the sound of peace. The core of the divine tree has closed its eyes in deep sleep. Now the divine tree is busy in an independent body, freely moving everywhere. The divine flower comes, she comes and tells the divine tree the whole situation of mankind during this time. After listening, the divine tree tilted his head towards the divine flower and gently said, So during the time I was asleep, many humans were very restless? The divine flower continued, three years ago. A new force has risen, led by several powerful strongmen. They are always shouting and making a mess. In addition, many humans have ventured into exploring our misty mountain. Perhaps in their eyes you have disappeared after the great battle with the sea. The divine tree was silent for a few seconds then asked again, Where are the humans who signed with us? Indeed, at the time the divine tree was asleep, hundreds of top-level strongmen came to sign a blood pact with Misty Mountain. Unfortunately, according to the divine flower, most of them still listen to Misty Mountain but there is also a part that just stands by and watches. The divine tree stood up, a bit disappointed and said, In the few years Misty Mountain disappeared. It seems that our threat has significantly decreased. The divine tree stepped on the ground, turned back to the divine flower, and said seriously, It seems, we have to appear again. On the outskirts of Misty Mountain, the sky is clear and the clouds are clear. But the fog is still thick, you should know that where there is fog, there is Misty Mountain. A female strongman is busy harvesting the beasts she just defeated. It seems she has hunted quite a lot of big and small beasts piled them into a pile. The female strongman said, These are all early stage beasts. The highest one is only early stage level 8. The man next to her also complained, These ones can't sell for much money anymore. After lighting a cigarette, he turned to his female colleague and suggested leaving early. Anyway, we are near Misty Mountain. Let's get out of here quickly. I'm afraid there will be danger. Indeed, he is after all an experienced hunter. The terrifying glorious past of this place is still deeply imprinted in his mind. But the woman just smiled and scoffed. Don't worry, we are still more than fifty kilometers away from Misty Mountain. And if a beast from Misty Mountain appears here, with our strength, we can surely easily kill it. Roar. Suddenly a terrifying roar sounded behind them. Hey, don't tell me a beast from Misty Mountain really appeared. Both of them immediately froze standing still and not daring to move. The large foot of the white tiger stomped heavily on the ground as a signal. All the beasts under his command rushed up in unison, the roar that shook the heavens and the earth. The two humans turned their backs. This scene really made them feel like they were sinking into hell. Damn it, their sweat hadn't even had time to pour out. The whole ground was shaking violently. Of the thirty-six stratagems, fleeing is the best. Both of them ran with their legs on their necks. The middle-aged man gritted his teeth and ran. While running, he kept wondering, why was there such a large group of beasts, and also brought a thick fog behind? Hick, could it be the beast of Misty Mountain? They have started to act again. The army of the white tiger continued to rush forward like a lightning bolt, roaring loudly as they went, echoing across the sky. Riding on the back of the white tiger was Xiao Lam. She was holding a smartphone using the GPS map to guide the army, White Tiger, there are still 300 kilometers to the east as the destination. The place they were heading to was the World of Steel, where metal has life, and is a special forbidden area. Xiao Lam's mission this time was to conquer this area. Xiao Lam received the mission directly from Tian Cam. She was busy managing Peace City so Xiao Lam got the opportunity to show off this time, starting from the need to deter the human world. The divine tree wanted to take this opportunity to slap a slap in the face of humanity and shout, You guys have woken up. Be careful. The white tiger frowned and said determinately, Don't worry Shao Lam, I will protect you very well. Of course Shao Lam was not at ease, haha. The white tiger seemed to have grown up a lot, but this time their opponent was one of the top ten villains of the continent, not to be underestimated. On the side of the China Federation, a conference for the best young people is taking place. The chairman of this meeting is the director of the Spiritual Power Supervision Department. 
He started. This time I called everyone here for a reason. I'm sure everyone knows. Misty Mountain, after three years of silence, is now once again bustling with activity. As he spoke, he was sweating with tension. The participants below also listened attentively. Clearly this meeting was quite important. An old man in there gave his opinion. Three years have changed a lot. It is completely different now. In our federation, strong people are appearing more and more, changing the face of the federation more and more clearly. Ah, uh, this old man is really strong. All the muscles are evenly developed and firm. He continued, Misty Mountain has become outdated. Even other forbidden areas dare not touch us. But the blonde young man sitting next to him just laughed sarcastically and shouted, Stupid, what did you say? So the two glared at each other. The blonde young man began to prove his point. Misty Mountain is only silent. Does not mean it is collapsed that year after the battle with the seven kings of the sea, then it did not appear anymore. But there is no news to prove that the power of Misty Mountain has decreased. This overconfident opinion of yours will only harm U.S. Indeed, humanity still has a chance to survive. Such brainy strongmen need to be bred quickly. Shaoling also took the opportunity to add, That's right. Now they appear so openly. Use your brain instead of your muscles. You will see the truth. The old muscle man heard these words, wishing he could strip Shaoling's clothes off and beat her up. Not intervening in this pointless debate, the chairman just continued to provide more information. This time they are targeting the world of steel. Surely it is because of that thing. A black-skinned young man next to him spoke up. Absolutely cannot let that thing fall into the hands of the mutant tree. Otherwise in the future we will no longer have a chance to eliminate it. Another masked member also joined in. The world of steel is where the life of metal is stored. If Misty Mountain gets it, then all our efforts arranged before will be useless. The green-haired boy with tearful eyes felt that even if humans were to rob now, it would not be feasible. You're right. Suddenly a soft female voice rang out. A blue-haired girl standing outside the door interrupted the meeting. Everyone was surprised to look out. Who was she? Could it be Snake Girl? The blue-haired girl with a cold face continued to speak. I serve the will of the divine tree. Today I send a message to you. It's best not to get involved. Otherwise the divine tree will definitely not spare you. The old muscle man was angry from earlier. Now finally had a chance to vent. So he was the first to rush up to attack Snake Girl. But why was she still standing still without reacting? Bang! The mountain-piercing punch of the old man was thrown out, creating a loud noise. He tried to see what his victim was like. Why was it like he just punched into the air? The next second when the dust settled, Snake Girl was still standing there. The old man just punched into a space crack. Clearly it was easily resolved by Snake Girl. Snake Girl casually continued. Oh, I haven't finished speaking yet. End of chapter 177